My name is Greg Baalbeck. I'm an enterprise account executive here at Big Commerce. So I work with our largest and most strategic prospective partners as they go through the evaluation process of Big Commerce. So as someone who's involved in this process daily, really excited to talk to you today about how you qualify that technology stack, particularly as you navigate those technologies and vendors as it pertains to direct to consumer wine sales today. So next slide, Josh. Perfect. So in a world where both offline and traditional retailers are stepping into commerce for the first time, it's really never been more important to absolutely nail the customer expectations across both direct to consumer and the B2B landscape. So the numbers are incredibly clear. Online wine sales are growing. So how do you as a merchant tap into that growth? Well, it's critically important to select and implement the right technology stack to ensure you're geared up to deliver the right customer expectations. As a result, it's important to consider what your consumers are really looking for. Next slide. Putting ourselves into the minor consumer, it starts with, is, is this the product I want? Is it the product I'm looking for? So therefore, is your product available on relevant channels for your consumers when they're shopping for it? For example, on your website, marketplaces, and is the product information accurate and more importantly, meaningful to the consumer as they go through that shopping experience? Next. Is the product available? Is it near me? It's one thing for that product to be on the site, but it's another for it to be available near the consumer. Is the product available in store? Is it approximate enough for a quick delivery? Additionally, another item to consider here is something to show real-time inventory values across your products. Helpful if consumers need a product quickly and within a certain time frame. And next, when will it be delivered? As flexible delivery options become increasingly important to consumers and almost expected, the vast majority of consumers are looking to see what shipping options look like and those delivery dates that are available that they can tap into as well. And finally, how much would it cost? Consumers want to know the full picture of how much goods will cost all in, often including local tax, shipping, returns information, and more. Today, the most successful wine brands are moving from traditional direct-to-consumer storefronts and strategies to a truly digital-first approach. We are really at an inflection point where traditional offline brick and mortar landscape is undergoing major changes. Of course, that's been accelerated by the impact of COVID. So with ex expectations and more importantly, the need for easy and simple access to wine purchasing online is growing, the strongest offense and defense is the ability to maximize those sales via numerous channels. So having that ability to sell online in your brick and mortar across marketplaces, finding the right solution that enables you to quickly tap into those channels is really key moving forward. So ultimately, next slide. How do you prepare and establish your wine brand and business to operationalize, scale, meet consumer expectations, and de-risk and reach that ROI? Next slide. You do that by evaluating eight things to ensure you are truly selecting the right technology stack. These are best of need, open SaaS and API first, headless, compliance and security, customer centric, international, training and support, and roadmap. Jumping into each, it starts with best of need. Simply put, you should be seeking out a best of need solution. At Big Commerce, commerce is what we do and we're brilliant at it. Our architecture and philosophy is built around best of need versus the historical commerce approach of a monolithic full stack solution. So you should really think of your technology stack like Lego bricks. With the best of need technology stack, you can work with solutions and vendors that meet your needs as a winery best and integrate, meaning that with a best in breed technology stack, you de-risk your business by removing the reliance on an all-in-one system. It also ensures greater flexibility and agility moving forward, both across long-term purpose-built tools for your business as you grow, scale, and your needs evolve and adapt as well. Next slide. Open SaaS. So open SaaS is the economics, usability, and scale of a SaaS product, but with everything being exposed over API. So look for a platform that's accessible to marketers, but flexible enough to handle incredibly complex use cases. Historically, within the commerce landscape, there were two options when it came to e-commerce, open source and SaaS. Merchants that favored having full control of their design, build, typically chose open source. Merchants that favored simplicity and security chose SaaS solutions. That, that compromise of history is no longer needed with open SaaS solutions. 
You start with a strong, secure base, meaning your commerce platform, and then build on top of that, leveraging those APIs to achieve any desired outcome. With SaaS, you no longer have to worry about infrastructure concerns, but rather you have the ability to leverage your open SaaS solution to again, grow as your needs evolve and scale as the adaption is required as well. So ultimately build where you need and build where it makes most sense. As you go through the qualification of the technology stack, you also really want to look for open architecture diagrams. The diagram here is a great example of BigCommerce being open SaaS. Now I know there is a lot going on in this slide, However, the core blocks in blue text are the native tools and features to BigCommerce. As you work your way down, you see these core Lego blocks are exposed via APIs to that wider technology stack. That ensures a two-way data transfer is constantly occurring between your technology stack. So as you think of your point of sale, customer service portal, more, making sure those components are all connected in real time. Above those content blocks, you have your presentation layer. Now, BigCommerce is a built-in presentation layer or CMS solution we call Page Builder. However, being a best-in-breed SaaS solution means that we always also support headless implementations as well. So let's jump into what a headless implementation is. Headless is a term that's becoming more and more common within the commerce landscape. Simply put, headless implementations allow you to decouple or disconnect that built-in presentation layer or solution and leverage a best-in-breed, best-in-need content management solution. Advanced content management solutions out there enable your teams to innovate quickly, empower those teams to make changes to the front end without disrupting that back end. So advanced CMS platforms that are available often provide features like A-B testing, approval workflows, and more, really to make sure you have full control over your content moving forward. With open SaaS solutions like BigCommerce, you can simply plug in that new technology into that existing system using those APIs. So all in all, qualify your content needs and ensure the solution you're evaluating can support them moving forward. Moving on, compliance, particularly in the wine merchant landscape, as with any business, it's important to validate compliance. Ensuring your technology stack is compliant not only today, but can keep up to those changes within mandates legislation as those areas are constantly evolving. BigCommerce, for example, manages all of the infrastructure hosting ongoing compliance for our merchants, really meaning that's one less thing to worry about for our winery customers on BigCommerce. And then jumping into customer centric, it's really important to make sure the technology you're evaluating and selecting is customer centric, meaning that irrespective of the devices used to view your website, will the customer experience be great across desktop, mobile? Does the technology have the horsepower necessary to ensure inventory and your stack is always up to date and accurate? Can the solution easily enable you to tap into omnichannel sales if you're thinking around Instagram checkout, Amazon, eBay? It's really important to consider the needs of the business and the project today, but also as you grow and scale moving forward as well. And then international sales as well. Commerce, as we know, is global. Anyone from anywhere can find your online winery store. And while international exposure is great, you need to ensure your technology solution you're evaluating can support international sales, as selling internationally is incredibly complex. So some questions to ask those software vendors. Can you enable shipping and shopping restrictions? Do you support local currencies, languages? Can this be supported and how importantly is it managed? Again, while international traffic and access to that global economy is great, ensuring your technology stack sets you up for success is incredibly important as well. In addition to that as well, training and customer service. I have and do work with our largest merchants, but do work with merchants across all shapes and sizes. And one thing is always true. Each piece of software you acquire is new, unique and often has nuances. Make sure you qualify the onboarding enablement service. Does the solution you're evaluating support 24 seven technical support? If so, where are they based? What are the different methods of communication and access that are available? Additionally, as part of that onboarding, does the solution offer instructor-led training services? Onboarding services like those offered by BigCommerce are really efficient ways to launch quickly on the BigCommerce platform, but importantly, help maximize that ROI as well. And finally, it's really important to ask questions around the, where the vendor or the software you're evaluating is going. 
Josh, you can move forward a few slides here too, because there's a few pop-ups, one more, perfect. So ultimately, feel brave to ask for the plan roadmap that will often represent an excellent view of where that technology and solution is both today, but also the overall direction of the business moving forward as well. As an example, with BigCommerce, we provide monthly town hall sessions. So you'll always be kept up to speed with new advancements, feature releases that are happening on the BigCommerce platform. And we also provide online participation forum. Getting customer feedback on direction for BigCommerce is incredibly important. So we wanna make sure we're keeping our users up to speed, for example. Perfect. Awesome. Greg, thank you for that. I, again, a lot of stuff was techno techn technical in nature. Uh, for those of you who joined, we're like, I didn't think we were going to get into that that deep. Um, feel free to ping Greg afterwards or ping somebody else or ping all of us. Um, we can go deeper into that. There's a lot to digest there. Um, I, you know, I, I think strategically, the platform that you're talking about, the descriptions, all these aspects are, are so critical. Obviously, for, for from Grow Big, there are a lot of different platforms out there. Big Commerce is one of them. There are others. Uh, but the ability to have that open SaaS seems to be a really good uh, feature for being able to build with some of your existing kind of ERPs and other pieces of that puzzle. Is that accurate, Greg? Yeah, absolutely. Make sure that the solution, in particular, again, speaking to big commerce here, has that integration capability and you can unlock that benefit of the ecosystem as well. So when we work with our merchants, we'll help take you through that evaluation process and really make sure that big commerce in this instance is the right platform to support you and the team moving forward. Cool. All right. Thanks. And to that end, real quick, uh, if you scroll down, if you're in the workshop portal, we did put this cool thing of contact big commerce. And you can actually go straight to booking a call. Um, we have a couple of places I'll show you where we can do that. Um, but okay, so now we're going on. Thank you, Greg. Mm -hmm.